Hey, what's up, ladies and germs? This is Keith Battle with the first installment of my analog to digital restoration project. Uh, the thing that I'm trying to do is get some four track recordings off of old school audio cassette uh, that were recorded with the Tascam Porta 7 Mini Studio. Uh, this guy right here. Um, this is a uh, a fantastic unit that has four different inputs. Unfortunately, you can only record to two at a time, but uh, we'll get into that maybe. Maybe we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, the issue is that stuff that was recorded on this guy cannot really be played back on anything but this guy. And I've got a ton of tapes that need to be, well, need is a, a strong word here, that I want to at least listen to, if not um, take and chop up and make samples of, or um, take them and make them into demo versions of songs that I'll uh, continue to rehearse and work on. Um, many of these tapes, I'm gonna stop holding this up so high, many of these tapes I haven't uh, listened to in going on 20 years. So I'm excited to hear what's on here. Granted, I have mix downs, um, but, um, I didn't know what I was doing 20 years ago. Not that I know what I'm doing right now, but um, I know a little bit more than I did 20 years ago. So I would like to um, find, listen to, and restore some of these songs. So step number one is to purchase one of these units. I found this guy on eBay. Um, I'll have a separate video about the process of this. There's actually another one underneath me uh, because I'm always thinking ahead, maybe I might need one for parts. And um, as things may sometimes work out for you, plan B actually turned out to be plan A. Plan B, my backup thing for parts, turned out to be the only working unit of the two. So, what's first? Well, I gathered up all of my tapes. You can see I've got a bunch of cassette tapes here that are ready to go. So I'm hot to trot here. I've got a working unit, or at least in theory it's working, and it's not mine, I haven't owned it, and I don't know who the previous owners were, I don't know how they treated it, so first thing I wanna do is clean it up. Now, there is a link in this uh, episode that uh, takes you to the YouTube video that I found and that I used in order to clean the heads for my tape deck. I've cleaned the, 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 both the record and the erase heads. I've cleaned the guide and the pinch roller. So uh, I'm thinking I'm pretty much ready to demagnetize the heads. Now, do I have to demagnetize the heads? Do I have to go to that step? Considering that it is kind of dangerous, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm learning it from a YouTube video. Um, no, I don't have to, but I want to because the stuff that was recorded on these cassette tapes, these are the only living copies. So I want the deck to be as clean as possible so that I'm not putting any gunk on my originals, but I also want um, to make sure that the heads are in their best possible condition so that I get a clean signal coming out of the tape deck and it's gonna go into Reason. I'm using Reason because I've been using Reason for a really long time uh, for electronic music, but now I can digitize multiple streams of audio simultaneously. Now here's the problem that I mentioned earlier, right? With this unit, I can only play back, or I can only record two tracks at a time. Not a big thing. It was actually a huge thing at its at its day that I could record, let's say, a, a drum beat and a bass simultaneously. But here's the thing. Here was the shocker. The the uh, oh crap moment after I purchased the first one, and it arrived. I don't know if you can see that, but the only way to get audio out of here is through a 
RCA stereo left and right out. So that leads to the major conundrum of this uh, series. How am I going to get high quality audio out of this unit into Reason and then have each individual track synced up in a way that I can actually do something with it. Now, um, the reason for wanting to go out individually, of course, is that um, I can EQ and apply effects and etc. etc. to clean tracks. Now, some of these the, the tracks that have been recorded on the, the cassettes um, have already had uh, bus mix type effects applied to them, so those effects are baked in. I can't really do anything about that, but I can give those uh, tracks a little bit more ambience um, by adding a little bit of reverb or other effects. I can do lots of stuff, and I can you know it's it's going to be super awesome if if I can figure out how to get each track out of this beautiful machine and sync them up into Reason. That is the challenge. That is what I'm trying to do. And hopefully, if I'm successful, this series is going to help you do something similar. You may have a different um, multi-track cassette uh, unit. You may just be along for the ride. I don't know. I'm happy to have you. So here we go.